Minister of Public Works, Bishop Juan Edgel, has reiterated government's zero-tolerance policy for lagging work or underperformance. This comes several months before the completion date for the rehabilitation of the 32 bridges along the Kourbukhari to let them stretch. On Monday, Minister Edgel visited and inspected works on bridges along the corridor and expressed dissatisfaction with the pace of construction. The contractor was not on site to meet me. Neither were neither workers on site. They even explained to me what is going on. It is highly disrespectful for a contractor to sign a contract with my ministry. It's not an engineer visiting today. It's the, the minister who's gazetted, who answers to the parliament. Is visiting to see, to get answers and to give instructions. And they're not on site. I'll deal with that at a different level when I get back to office. To this end, these contractors will be given specific instructions regarding expediting these works to meet the completion date. It is clear that some people seem to want to do work at their own time, when they're ready, and when they feel like doing it. Mediocrity will not be condoned by me, anywhere. Whether it's a secretary in the office, I don't stand for mediocrity. It's a, it's a contract in the field, an engineer. Excellence is the standard that I set, not mediocrity. Government, through the Ministry of Public Works, signed multiple contracts to rehabilitate some 45 bridges along the Linden to Lethem Road. These works will encourage economic activity and foster continued hinterland development through interconnectivity. It forms part of the administration's agenda to expand infrastructural development across the country. The upgrades are being done in two phases, the first phase being the church two bridges from Kurapukari to the Letem Corridor, and the second, which includes 13 bridges from Abura to Kurapukari.